Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Smart Tasks, which is a pretty cool project manager. Now what we're seeing right now is the main dashboard when you're greeted and the first thing that I'm seeing is the tasks that are assigned to me. But the first thing we're going to check out is how you can set up a task because I know you guys want to check out what is possible with Smart Tasks. So let's head on over to Projects, which is going to be right here on your left side. This is the menu. And I've already created these three projects. But if we want to create a brand new one, we click on this plus button and you're going to be greeted with templates. If you want to check out templates, you can select the ones that you want or you can create a brand like a blank, blank project. Now, right now I'm in general, but you have these type of templates that are marketing, human resource, accounts, engineering and projects. So in this case, you know what I'm going to say marketing. So in marketing, you have these type of templates. Now you can see some are based with the premium plan and some are not. Now depending on the plan are the things that you will have available. I'm just showing you the quick overview of the main uh, task from Smart Task. So if I select one of these, it's going to load that campaign to it. So the, we're going to check out one right now. And this is a marketing plan, campaign plan. And it greets you with this template. Now what's so cool about this is that you don't have to think of, hey, what kind of things would I need? in this type of business. So it helps you out in that sense using a template. In this case, we have all of these. And when you see this little grayish uh, guy right here, that means no one is assigned to them. To actually assign people, obviously you already are a user, but if you wanna add more users, you would do this right here. So in users, I got these two, which are me right now, but you can add your teammates or clients or people you want to view this certain project. If I click on a plus button, we, we add a user by email and it's going to send it and it's going invite to them, invite them and set up everything really accordingly. It's really easy. So if I say, hey, you know what, this product has to be for me, well, I just assign it to me. I mean, that easy. It's assigned to me. Now, if we want to see what this product is actually about, we click on it and obviously there's no information, but we can add tasks to this. But for testing purposes, we're going to add a brand new task. Let's just say we have to build a website. So let's set up a task name. So set up website for client. All right. That's going to be the title description or status of this. So it's in prospecting. Oh, pros pro prospecting. All right. And it's set up to right here. So marketing. Do we want to set tag name? These are important for you to actually search later on. So it's pretty cool. And if we want to comment on this, so, you know, let's say price is one eh, K whoops, one K, right? Jesus just sent examples, enter. So that's an, I sent this. And if other users are assigned to this test, they could also comment right here. I haven't assigned one. So I'll assign me and assign him. All right. So assign to him. We can set dates for these. So for example, hey, these guys already contracted and we're just given like this uh, website thing. So we have a sign that was today and we said we would finish by the 25th September, right? So you can set that right there. Do we want it to repeat or not? Um, let's just say, for example, uh, why would you need a repeat? Let's say, for example, you have a brand new client and you're charging month to month. So you'd say, hey, every month on this day, I got to charge this client this amount, right? So you can set it on repeat. So it's if it's monthly, daily, weekly, you can set that. That's what you would use repeat for. In this case, we just want to set those dates. Now it's set. We can attach files right here. We have the option to use Dropbox, Google Drive, or our computer. Obviously, you can just load it from there. Pretty cool. Task productivity. If we click on this, we have four of these. So no productivity, high, medium, or pro so we just said, for example, medium, all right? And we got more actions. So you can add a subtask to this. So for example, it's a task within a task. So in this case, it would be like, hey, buy this plugin because um, that we need it for this specific client's website that we're creating, all right? So that would be a subtask. Once you buy it, then you are finished with that one. So you can attach contacts, add to project, duplicate task, task is dependent, add reminder, add a reminder is pretty cool because you can actually set another reminder or task is complete or any, you can set that also. What other options do we have? So you can copy the task link, add a task ID to task and print task. So I'm pretty sure that not, not most of the, of the other task managers that I've seen, and I've done a whole bunch of reviews on task managers are not as complete as this one. So I feel it's pretty robust. 
it's not about looking beautiful UI. It's about having the information that you need. So that's what I like about this one. All right, so what information do we have? We can also delete it or X if we're done. Now you can see all tasks right here. Next thing we have is boards. So if you like the board looking type of task, you also have that option. So you can view it as a list or you can view it as a board. So that's pretty cool. Now if you want to drag and drop these over here to these options, remember these are like in initialization. These are starting, design, review design, analysis, storyboard review, report, etc. And you can set these as you want, a type of pipeline. You can do that also. Next thing we have is the calendar. So here from calendar, you can add task to actually assign it to a date. Now remember we set a date for the website creation. Well, here it is. You can see that right there. Now it's in gray, but we can set a color for it. You can view month, week, or day, or choose next month, next month, and like that, so on and so forth. Next thing we have is the feed. So we can set a status update, or we can see a post. In this case, let's see current status was blocked, What's to be done next? Okay, so it's not set right now. But what post would do is, for example, same as Facebook, but just for this task, you can set posts right here, like, hey, a reminder or just a comment. Everything's well, and you can do this also. Also, chat. We have the chat option right here. There's no chat history, but if there were, so we would say hi. I say that, and whoever is in this specific project can comment. So if someone is also, like five people are assigned to this, they could be in this chat. Now, something that's really cool, and I'm gonna show you that really quick, is that they have an Android, iOS app, and a desktop app that you can use. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's why the chat feature is so awesome. So you can even create tasks from here, edit, and everything, or chat. That's what I like about it. Next thing we have is analytics. So once you start like using the text like you should for each of individual tasks that you create, you have a great analytics tool right here that shows you percentage complete, task remaining, and like I said, it's a pretty complete task manager. Next thing we have is timeline. So in this case, if we set a timeline for these, we can set, hey, you know what, this task has to be done in this amount of time, in this timeline. So it helps you analyze what's going on, if everything's going well or not. And what other people say is that an average, an employee in a year has about 5,000 tasks in a year. So that's a whole lot of tasks that if you don't keep track, trust me, you're not going to be as, what do you call it, as like important or what you should do in a year if you don't use a task manager efficient if you're not you're not as efficient that's what I, that's the word i was looking for next thing is the files so we haven't uploaded any files in any of the tasks if not we would see them right here and contacts you can add them also right here now some of you if you are using a, like a plan that's higher you would have the premium plan you would have crm available what crm lets you do is add contacts right here in a type of crm way so for example i have this one right here i'm gonna open it and I created this, you know, that's my name, Jorge in Spanish. Am I a person or this is an organization? These are the projects. View more. You can add the information right here. So if I wanted to edit this right here, so hey, you know what? I'll add the site for this customer, for this client or customer, just depends. Like that there. Now it's added. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. And it's gonna help you have in a really organized way how the, the client looks for and the information that you need. If I click X, if I wanted to add a brand new one, you would create add. Sorry, oh, we're already here. So in this case, it would be like quarter two. And description, this is organization. If it were an organization, we'd say, hey, this is SAS Master. Description, online reviews, and overviews, projects. Now, What's so cool about having a CRM in a task manager is that you can assign it to the project. So you, you keep a better track of what's going on because it's, it's like tied in together. So in this case, we'll set it to this one. There's no tags, so I would do that. A phone, a work phone, email, uh, it's this information, GPS. So if, if it's a local business, you can add the GPS to that person, website, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and so on and so forth. In this case, we're not gonna fill in everything, but there you go. This is how it would look. And you have that really cool and really neat where you have a list of all the tasks. You can also set the analytics for each one. All right, and portfolios. This portfolios, I use it for like business. In this case, the CSAS master. It's tied into the basic project and you can see the analytics for this one. So there's analyzation, 
planning, execution, monitoring, and closure. So for this project, oh, sorry, clicked on it again. You would view in analytics for that one. So it's tied in together, like I told you. And yeah, quick overview of the percentage of how that is going. There's no due date on this one. Who's assigned to this? Or we can trash it really easy and really fast. And we can also view this. We have a filter by due date alphabetically, by owner or by status. Also up here, we have the information available. We got the options, all this, and all that cool stuff. We can also create a group. So in this case, I'll just say test, whoops, test. And you create a group for all this. So that's pretty cool. Well, all right, guys, I'm gonna show you a quick overview of basic. That's a pretty cool option to have, having a really complete and robust task manager with applications available for mobile phone. I know many of the task managers don't even have that, so that's pretty cool to have. Like I said, these guys are most focused on having a good working uh, task manager than just looking beautiful. I know most of them, hey, I just wanna look nice and people buy me because I look nice. No, this is about having information and doing it right and having a good task manager. And if you have the plan that's premium that has a CRM, well, you have that tied in. Well, guys, I hope I explained enough about this in a quick overview. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. And if you guys want to grab the deal, the link is going to be in the description. See you later, guys.